Hey guys, welcome to another video. Joshua, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite tips and tricks for Find Out Mac OS. Now, these are quick, simple, yet powerful things you can do right from your finder that you don't have to spend money on some fancy software to accomplish. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so the first tip I'm going to be sharing with you today is how to rename multiple files right from Finder and have them follow any format you want to save you time. So for this test, I've got a couple of photos that are named, you know, just sort of generic IMG underscore, you know, such and such number. And I'd like to give them more meaningful names. However, imagine if I had 500 of these photos and I don't want to have to name them one after the other. So what I could do is select all of them and right click and click on rename now it gives me this dialog now this is where things get interesting so you've got three options you've got replace text add text or format so if the replace text option allows you to replace specific parts of that uh, file name in all the files and replace them some now so for example I could replace all occurrences of IMG with some gibberish <laughs> or or not and it gives me the example down below of what that's going to look like as an example right you could do that you could add text to the end of them so i could add um sort of picture at the end and it gives you another example of how that's going to look now those are nice and you can choose to do that before or after the name of course those are nice but the best functionality here is the format option which is the most powerful option of course which allows you to select you know, so from three different options, name and counter, name and index to format the name. Name and index, I really like a lot. So we'll use that. And then of course you can select if you want the index to appear before or after the new name. After the name I find to be more useful. So let's choose our format, shall we? Um, I would like to sort of name these sort of graduation photos. Graduation photos and leave a space there. and you get to choose what number you want to start from. So maybe you've already named, renamed some of your files and you don't want to start from zero or one, you could do that. Or, you know, if you're feeling edgy and you want to sort of start from 100, you could do that too. But I'll start from one just for the sake of this example and let the magic happen. See that? It renames all of them immediately. So you can see graduation photos, one, two, three, all the way to 13. So very powerful guys. You can use this to sort through your movie files, your pictures, your school documents, whatever you have to rename in bulk, you can do this quick and simple. You don't have to pay for any fancy software to get that done. Tip number two, lock in a file. Now, say for example, one of my images I find very important, right? This is the most important image in my life. I do not want to de delete this picture by mistake. I don't want anything to happen to it at all. And I absolutely need to be certain that this image is kept safe. To lock a file on Finder, you just need to right click and go to get info over here and tick the locked option. Now, what this does is anytime you try to modify or change or delete this file, you get a warning so you're aware, so you, you don't mistakenly delete the file. Now, let's, let's contrast this, shall we? Now, take this second file, which is not locked. If I right click and send to bin, it's deleted, it's gone immediately, right? Now, if I try that with the locked file, which you can see sort of a nice uh, padlock icon at the bottom left, and I go move to bin, it tells me item graduation photos is locked. Do you want to move it to the bin anyway? So that way you get that added layer of protection. This is very important for, you know, school documents, important project files, uh, especially if you have multiple people sharing the same computer you've got your kids who go on your computer sometimes and you have to be certain that you know they don't sort of mistakenly click on something and get rid of important work documents or or personal files this is a very good additional layer of protection of course uh, for you to have number three if you need to get the path of a folder for or a file for whatever reason at all now, one of, one of the annoying things about the Finder is it doesn't, it's not very verbose. So you have to sort of expose additional information about certain things if you want to get more information. So for example, on Windows, you get a nice sort of path on the top to show you exactly where a file or folder is located. But you can also get on, 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 on the Finder as well. So all you need to do is right click the top and you can sort of follow the chain and see where it's hidden. Or 
you can um, click on view on your menu bar and then show path bar and then it's going to show you at the bottom exactly where it is so that's really really useful guys really really useful uh, for navigating and knowing exactly where your files are now this option is more permanent so this would display on all your finder windows going forward which again i think is super useful that way at a glance you know where a particular file is located if you ever want to go back to it later in the future very very important okay guys so tip number four is opening very quickly any folder in a new tab now of course you know ever since i believe two or three mac os's ago apple gave us the functionality of opening folders and tabs and it can be a bit clunky sometimes you know having to remember oh i want to open for example test folder one i'd have to right click and then click on open a new tab again that can be very stressful especially if you're on a laptop and you have to use your trackpad and you're sort of moving around right there's there's a quick and easy way to do that what you need to do is just hold down your command key and then double click and that automatically opens that folder in a new tab again very handy very quick you don't have to sort of take your hands off your keyboard and can carry on doing what you're doing so very very cool okay guys so the fifth and final tip i've got for you today is how to show hidden files or folders within finder all you need to do is press the following keys on your keyboard shift command and the full stop key and you can toggle any hidden files so you can see in this folder i've got dollar sign recycle dot bin and desktop dot in it now of course i added these just for the test but on yours you may have or you may not have any if you don't have anything nothing to worry about if you do make sure they're not malicious files give them a quick google to make sure that those files are safe and they're supposed to be present now apple normally hides certain system files because they don't want people deleting them because they're crucial to making your mac work so be careful with those but sometimes malicious files also like to be hidden that way you don't know they're there and they can carry on doing whatever they're trying to do so it's very important that you constantly check your files your hard drives to make sure that there are no strange hidden files there okay guys so that's all the tips i have for you today i hope you enjoyed uh, let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section below if you liked it give us a thumbs up and if you really liked it please consider subscribing to the channel to get more videos like this i aim to release quality videos every week where i can uh sometimes i do take sort of long breaks like for this one but i promise i'm back this time around anyway guys that's been it thanks for watching have a wonderful wonderful evening and of course till next time as always be fantastic catch you around Bye.